What's up? Subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell. I do Dreams PS4 on my channel. Near the end of this video, I will show you what Dreams PS4 is. You can make games, animations, and beats, music, and upload it to a YouTube SoundCloud-like server. It's big. Uh, it's most likely going to be revolutionary. So guys, this is how you use Lisp. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can use Spitfish. It's simple. Put the reduction down to however you want to reduce it by. I have mine all the way down to like 20 point zero right here um my attack i have this at 1.0 that means it'll start the effect faster and the release uh this will be like if it wants to hold a note so if you if you lower this it'll like make it hold the note less but if you heighten it it'll hold a note longer so that's how long the effect will stay for that one s that it catches this is the most important part your sensitivity you lower this to actually make this more sensitive. So it's 0 0.5, that's what I lowered it to instead of like, it's it starts out at like two point something. You gotta lower this to uh, get this whole effect working. I lowered it to like 0 0.5. And then you can mess around with the low ends and the high ends. Uh, the highs or if you're signing through a telephone, this is how it'd be for EQ. If you like, um, if your uh, voice sounded like it was uh, sounding like uh, it was, uh, coming from a telephone then you would with EQ you would want to lower it so I'm assuming you would lower the high here and with the lows if you lower the lows here then that usually means it's going to make your voice less muddy less cleary uh, less uh, and more clear I'm not sure what it means for Spitfish but you can translate what I just said to this effect plugin as you please I'm guessing the Q means quality. I don't know. You can mess around with that. That wasn't too important for me. I have mine at 4.0 though. And I have this at 64. You can mess around with this. And I do not have it on auto. So you can press listen while your track is going. And then you can clearly hear the S's. So this is what my thing sounds like. Um, and this is how you use, this is li the list plugin. This is the Spitfish plugin. The Spitfish plugin is a little bit more simple, but sometimes it doesn't work. For me, I like having mine like right here. I change it to stereo because it's like a stereo channel, as you can see. And then I like mess around with it. Usually I don't need this dial too high, like somewhere around the middle and right here. And usually this dial I usually have like right here, actually, but you got to mess around with it. It depends on what kind of track. And I don't think you need this too high. Don't put this on soft and press listen when you need to listen. And it's uh, that simple. Now, there's one extra effect that I want you guys to add to your tracks called DD Deesser. So use either Lisp and DD Deesser or Spitfish in DD Deesser. Don't use Spitfish, Lisp, and DD Deesser. Just use DD Deesser in one of the other two. All right, so the DD Deesser plugin actually affects the whole track. You can press listen just like everything else, and the amount and the attack, it works the same way as the other one would. So make the amount higher, and the attack start as fast as possible, as well as the release. I have the release starting as quickly as possible for this plugin. The thing to remember is these two dials. This is actually the most important for these two dials. So I guess you can learn what low frequency is and high frequency by messing with these two dials on and then translating that over to the uh, list plugin. But this is how this uh, DDSer affects the whole track, whereas the other one would only affect where the, s the S's are. So the important part, the low frequency, put it right around here and here. This will make it cut, take out like the static parts in the voices. Like, it, like you know, static like for a TV, that's the best way that I can explain it. It's going to make your quality sound a whole lot better. So that's where you want to do this. And the high frequency, I have it right here. You can mess around with yours. But for me, it just seems like messing with the low frequency is the most important thing. Um, and then you can mess around with everything else as you please. So that's what I use the DDDSer for. This is how I get my tracks sounding like this. And I'm going to play this without the beat so I can monetize this, of course. Should still sound fire. Before you fire, trying to take my eyes. If you saw my real colors, you wouldn't be blind. 
that ain't fair, but that's life. First blame the label, and then the stream service. I know I make you nervous, but congratulations. I heard you're married now, and they say I made it. But if I'm so good with words, how come I didn't get to see your vows? And I'm gonna turn off the effects now. this rain falls upside down. I rather let him wonder if a rapper made it from this town. Cause my name grew in a desert. It ain't like I had anyone ever. And my mom's gone, so now I'm all like, whatever. Never see this guy the same. Deep inside my dream, remember this name. All right, so you can see what it would sound like with the de on and without it. So that's it. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and I hope this helps you mix and master. I also have a G-Snap tutorial that's auto-tune. All this stuff will pop up up here. This is Dreams PS4 slash PS5. Um, you can make music, games, animations with it and upload it to a SoundCloud YouTube-like server called Dream Surfing. So if you're interested in this, like if you like music, get into this while um, while it's still a relatively small community. That way you can like have a higher chance of becoming successful. It's like basically YouTube for making creative stuff, if that makes sense. So check it out, look up stuff about it. And I have tutorials on how to make just about anything, even beats. So today we're doing a Spitfish tutorial. So let's go ahead and change over to my doll. I use Cakewalk, it's free. And again, you can do this kind of stuff in this uh, game. I made all this right here. You, you can make some pretty realistic stuff. So um, jump into this, it's, it's probably gonna be pretty big.